Um, good to run away from the egg, but again, all right, well, we get another blink initiator. Going for on Drow, it's a lot of damage increase in general, so feels pretty amazing. Top finally, Soundstrike, gonna <laughs> land. <laughs> now look at the kill, Afu. Can he trade though? Oh, and it's gonna try and duke through, but the Tango will be oh. through the trees, and unfortunately, but the body blocks aren't enough. One of these uh, magic missiles, 180 damage for 95 mana. Now going on scam. <laughs> All right, dude. Bottom lane, we see a lot of damage here onto Force. Looks like he might go down to the multi-shot combo here. Yeah, nice read as well. They, they know that the the Rubik has been leaving the lane always at this minute. If lose a lane this badly is what we're getting. Uh, Skem shows up. He's just free food. I will find a double stun, but now they'll go for Olner. Which might get a return kill here at least though, but TP coming in immediately from Puck. Oh, they, can they take the Sunstrike? They do. Nicely done. Walker is coming up top to try and salvage this push. We'll start on to the Jaro, swap back into the egg. Oh, and it's going to have some reinforcements nearby. It's so important that he's going to be able to get out of danger because now Geek Fam, they can look to turn it back around, but even mid one feels the importance of showing up to the team fight. They're going to be lacking the damage currently as Cox has got plenty of stats, but no one. An early movement out of him. A great mirror of his rotation to the top side helps him in a way, so... Uh, we, we're, we're looking at force. This, this guy's going to be huge. They'll be able to get a freebie onto the Phoenix. Stolen Coil coming to play for Naaman. Uh, that's a, some really important experience as well. You we are staying pretty close. It's only a 3,000 gold difference. But I, I feel like... I'm going to try and cut mid. They're starting to move over to Cox's location as well. So some heroes playing behind mid one. Some also trying to sit up for a, an attempt onto the Invoker. But a tier three tower will go down again for free. It's just like no one is home. Are they gonna give? Can they really not fight? Why go into these ages? I think they should fight. I, I don't really understand. They have the timing, in my opinion. But maybe they're waiting for the uh, the Aghanim scepter here on Gyro. Oh, okay. Well, that, multiple heroes show away from this bottom side, but they're not going to be able to catch them on this move. Is again without the carry though, so they're missing some damage. You see the ET could get him. Ooh, this is getting awkward. All right, they should be able to blow him up. Can they get out afterwards? Because no one off the back of the haste is going to be able to react. Cool to hold the Rubik into place. And that should be an easy kill onto Naaman as well. They should get him still. No way to run away from this. The haste rune too much. He's really making it work for it, dude. Glim is back up. All right, they'll get him. Told themselves that they cannot fight. And because of that, they cannot fight. It's like you tell yourself something and then it's true. But... I think they needed to take some of these engagements. You're just going to lose the game if you play like this. Are they coming back now? Or could attempt. Sunray's going to repair some of the damage. They'll see some TPs. And let's... What's what's the call now for SMG? Ages? Out in 20 seconds. Is there an opportunity for Geekfam to finally jump in? Maybe you can jump him and try and keep him alive and then kill him towards the end of it right now. Around and look for pickoffs. They are looking for no one perhaps here. It seemed, but with Phoenix... Oh my god, no one! What is that, dude? The perfect timing! And now they're gonna be able to get the kill onto Cox, and look at the rotation, SMG, we're so aware! Everyone is here! They knew exactly what was going on. They're going to be able to get the kill onto Skem as well. I mean, very close to the draw range, all things considering of all the buildings they've taken and also the Midas that, that he's working with. Pretty good board on the high ground for SMG. They're going to finally see Geek Fam coming outside the base. Again, the core is going to be onto two with the Sunray damage. Skem should go down to start the fight, but the Glimmer Cape's going to buy him some space. Bench is hunting. He's coming. On the front line, though, and Masteros is going to be able to cut him off. They'll cancel the blink on force, tries to make another high ground, but the call onto the Venge really doesn't give them too much. They are in a position where you have to fight. There is no escaping now for Geek Fam as they're stuck on their high ground, though. Invoker goes down. Big kill onto no one. Invoker's still going to go down, but he's going to buy back to look to rejoin as well as John Yuel. Also going to get caught out as well as five. Finally, Geek Fam, they'll take a fight, they'll find three. Yes, you've got to use that buyback a little bit unnecessarily. So I have a good idea of where Geek Fam are currently positioned. SMG being very patient here. They can start Roche with the draw. It's pretty low commitment, but they're standing in great position with ET and Venge. Oops, Scam. It is going to lead the charge, and he might be first to die as well. 
Mastros is so far in the front line and, and seems like he has nothing to fear. Meme will force a mid one. Oh, Rubik. Place you're out. They're going to be able to get the call, which will minimize some of the damage out of the Drow Ranger as Onet tries to turn as well, but the flat cannon. Daedal is just completed and the crits are raining down. It's too much for SMG to handle so far. They'll force out some buybacks on Geek Fam. This is the first real fight we've seen out of them start to go their way and they want to capitalize as they'll also get Januel in front of the Rift and they're not done just yet. I think they got a glimpse of no one in the tree line. Oh, he's gonna get out. He's hunting. He's gonna get out, but that means that they're losing Roche here. They didn't have the power of buybacking and coming back into the fight. We're like that on Rubik. Is that sacrificing a little bit too much, perhaps? Because suddenly getting your blink cancelled, right? If you well, get, are... get hit by some random nuke. It's a very interesting pathing out of Team SMG. They're probably going to be able to catch them off guard. It's important if Geek Fam can get to this high ground first and start to get some... Oh, no, Rubik. Now I'm inside the river. And that squishy support ever so reliant on his position. Is but maybe they could uh, get a fight where it's actually 4v5. I guess they can still get it in time here, though, as Rubik still has 45 seconds and buyback on cooldown. Swapping threat. Dude, there's a lot of damage on the drop. Uh, Ready on the... He's just going to get blown up to start, and a Masros, if he wants to, can look for a swap back outside the base. He's trying to get closer, but a pretty good Orchid from Cox is going to prevent that. But uh, they use using nothing for that Aegis kill. Yeah, so cheap. He underestimated the Aghanim shard of Drow. Oh, Force. A little bit out of range here for the call. Masro is starting to fall over. The Echo Storm's perfect. It's going to disrupt them now with the Supernova and Sunray. There's no way they can address it. SMG's two fight, too much to handle. Another swap, but the stun was perfect from Masaros. Cox is next. It's all up to force for a multi- Actually got the call. So turn the tides. He's going to be able to get no one. And the call is out as well. But this is a super heavy investment. Geek Fam, buy back on multiple. They need more kills. Can they get mid one? Any stuns? There wasn't one available. Oh my god. Janiel, well at least, but you needed so much more than that to make it a worthwhile fight in the end. Astros, what are they looking for? A, a ward into a swap out? Scam. So cool. Oh, it went gyro. And there we go. They're gonna get the gyro copter instead. On the board back. If he dies, it might just be game. As where is the damage gonna be left now for Geek Fan? They're gonna lose the axe as well. One fight SMG. They know their beats, yeah. No remorse, and they're going to be able to take the series as well. They will not geek them down to the lower bracket. This team looked super solid in game one, but the response from SMG in game two and game three was just so clean. Made that Can anybody out there